Oh, Stella. Hey, little cover dog. Starsky, look at me. Hey. Starsky. Apparently eating is... Oh, there he is. <laughs> and Fenway the cat. Okay, I'm going to do this again. All right, so potty training. I showed you guys um, the little kennel to put around the... I mean, the little crate... Oh, brother. The gate to put around the kennel. Um, so basically, just make their space a little bit bigger. And if they have an accident, then um, go backwards a spot. So if they're just in their kennel and you have that divider in there, you can, um, the next step, you can take the divider out you can throw some toys in the back. So, because basically the concept is going to be you don't poop where you sleep. So, but they're little bitty and they don't know what that means yet. So, you have to gradually uh, show them. And, I mean, I've had to go backwards with Starsky several times because I keep thinking that He's some sort of an Einstein, and so then I open the thing up, and then we have all these accidents, and then I'm like, you know, duh, what? It's because you made his place too big too fast. <laughs> so, and I really have good luck with the bells, at least um, to start with, and then just remove the bell. But I also sat by the door and by the gate, and I held up a treat, and I said, um, you know, what, what do you need to do? You know, paw, or I would say, um, hand, treat, scratch. I tried all sorts of different, cause I wasn't sure what you guys used. I tried to find it, but I couldn't, I didn't see it. Um, so anyway, that's what I do is I do the bells because then that, the action of, hitting the bell or going to the door and touching the nose on the door, then that habit is formed. And then when you take the bells away, they're just going to do the action. So, um, potty training is the hardest. Potty training and barking and being bored and chewing on things are the three reasons why dogs end up in the pound. So, those are the three things that I work the hardest on. <laughs> um, okay, then leave it. You guys saw that. That was the... Um, okay, so if it was the... <laughs> if the boot fits by every color thing, I, I stick my finger in there, and then I say, drop it. Like if, this, if their mouth is over here, then I say, drop it. More like that angle drop it and then when they let go a little bit even if they don't all the way let go then I stick my hand in there and say leave it leave it and then I cover up whatever that thing is so they can't get to it and then um but they all they they were all letting go I mean not the first try but sometimes the first try and I'd be like yeah and give a big parade you know so just like I showed you guys with the food as soon as you can take your hand off, just say, say, leave it. And then if they go for it again, put your, just cover it again. And then they will, they'll stop. They, they both did. So I know they can do it. Um, then let's see, drop it. That was the first one I showed you is drop it. Now, so the reason I get down at their level is because anytime you're, you're, you're pointing and saying, drop it, that looks like you're shaming them. They look like they already think they're in trouble. So, and, or they think that you're playing with them and they're going to run with whatever the thing is. So I try to get down as close to them as I can and just put my hand right in their mouth, you know. Um, of course, you end up with hands that look like that, but... Not for very long. <laughs> so then, let's see. I'll just go down this list over here first. 
um, then down, I use that for so many things. I use that for, um, so like on the, okay, basically, I what I end up doing, I use this for just about everything, and then I just use a, a point for what I want them to do. I'll say, um, you know, let's go outside, or like when they're up here, I'll say, um, down, 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 and per, so I had two dogs and I never had to say a word to them. They, they both did sign language. They, all they, like this, like he's going to try to jump up here and, um, well, he was going to try to get the towel, but I moved it. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Down down leave it leave it down good boy so see how I just I kind of just the same with like sit and the treat I just sort of told made him go where I wanted him to go good boy give me a shake for that yeah buddy yeah you can do it good job high five high five maniac yeah woohoo <laughs> he's crazy Okay, yes, I know you're a good boy. You're helping. He wants to be in the movie. Okay, so now that I've made you guys sick to your stomach. Okay, so recall. Um, oh, wait, also down is um, the other one is like when I want my dog to do that. I do this really slow, and I'll go, and then I lower my voice like it's bedtime, and I'll say down. Or settle. Uh, whatever the word is, you can mix and match the words and use whatever you want. But as long as you use that, um, the motion, because they, because they're wondering what does, what do they want me to do? What are they, what are they wanting from me right now? So you just need to tell them, and all the dogs will speak their own language basically, and they'll end up telling you like how they do it. He's he's sitting he's looking at the fridge and just watching my every move. Yeah, I know. Nope. I don't think you should eat that. Thank you. Good choice, mister. Good job. So funny. Come over here and eat your get your puzzle thing. Is it is it oh you emptied it? You did. You did. Oh, I hear some. I hear some. Sorry about my 24-hour training over here. Um, recall. Okay. I don't have my glasses on. Let's see. Where is... There's a leash. Okay. So, if I was... Um, okay. So, we'll practice with Stella. And we know that these tiles are um, one foot. So, what I do... Is <laughs> is I I'll start with it right there, and then I will say um, I'll take one step back, and I'll say, you know, you can say Stella, come, come Stella, here boy, you can say whatever you want, and Bo just does the whistle thing. I I <laughs> poor Courtney can't whistle. But maybe you could hum something that sounded like a whistle. Or, or just do, um, you know, one of these or, you know, clap, clap your hands together, which I can't do because I'm holding the phone. Or um, anything. You just, and then just make, make, like I use this one a lot because I kind of point my knee out, which, which is kind of telling them, come here and, and, and see me. Oh boy, he's going to go get the cat. So, and then just do it one, one little square at a time. And they, so then you could just say, so a lot of what I'll do is I'll hook them on the, I'll hook them on right there. And in the very beginning, and I say, uh, don't eat it. Hey, you're using my measuring thing and I'm trying to show them something. So what I do is I will say, uh, I'll step back and I go, come, 
sit and wait. Come, sit and wait. Starsky, Starsky, hey, hey, come here. I don't have him on his leash. Starsky, can you sit? Sit? Good. Oh, uh, yeah. High five, too. Okay, good job. Okay, come here. Come here. Come. Yeah, oh, Stella's doing it. She's like, hey, I love this game. Oh, here he comes. Okay, good boy. Stella, come. Stella. <whistles> what do you hear? Yeah, good boy, Starsky. Thank you. Okay. Starsky, come. <gasps> come on. Come here. And then just try everything until they will come. Come here. Come here, cobber dog. See, he liked the snapping. Isn't that weird? I must do that habitually. I'm sure I do. It was 15 years with those dogs. Uh, let's see. Leash walk. Okay. Where, this is going to be the longest video in the world since I don't have any of my stuff with me or ready or have a dog or anything else. Okay. Leash. Stella does this one really good, so I'll do that one with her. All right. So, with a leash walk, Starsky, let go of that, honey. Hey, hey, leave it. No, uh-uh, thank you. No, Stelly, we're not. <laughs> she thinks we're going outside. Come in the kitchen and show something. Come here. Starsky, you're not helping. Okay, I'm going to try to film this. So, in the beginning, what I do is I take the leash, okay, and I wrap it around, holy crap. Okay, take it behind you, wrap it around your the back of you, like that. On the other end, put your arm through um, this deal, and then take up all of the slack until you have your dog right behind you like that and then say so they'll get to where you can say turn Stella Stella right come Stella come I know this is a dumb thing and you're on a flower and there's a cat and I know but we got to do a video come here here we'll scoot away from the cat okay there you go Stella <laughs> There. Can Stella wait? Yeah. Good girl. There's a sit and wait. And a look at me all at the same time. Good girl, Stella. Okay, come. You're, you're very confused because you're in the kitchen full of crap. Okay. But what it is is you want the leash to be coming. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. Can you tell I'm a professional? <laughs> you want the leash to come up like this so that you can steer them with this hand. Stella. Stella. Stella, come. Stella. Oh, yeah, be defiant on film. That's the best way. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then Stella, wait. Good job. Good girl. A little nice look at me. What a good job. And then another thing that I say, um, so when I let her out of that position and I have her on a loose leash, then I can say, I should have done this in the daytime outside. Okay, Stella, there you go. And then I swing it and say, easy. And see how she slowed down? Because I just slow down my language. And then come. Good girl. What a good job. And then just keep her kind of right behind you. Like, of course, you have hymns and not hers. Good girl. Oh, yeah, we have the cat in the way. And just keep them sort of right behind you like that. Now... There's a lot of the time in the day where I have them out and they both 
are fine. They stay side by side. And then I just swing this. And if they go too far, I'll say easy, you know. So just do that. Now, what is next? That was leash walk. Kennel up, I do the same exact thing. I just point. To start that out, you throw a piece of food in. <laughs> you do, you, if they will go for food, that's your gold right there. And I say kennel up, but that's just what I say. You can say Betty bye, bedtime, kennel now, settle. You can say whatever you want to say. Toss. I even take a little handful of kibble and just throw it in to where it kind of spreads around inside their blanket. So they can go in there and have something to keep their mind off of the fact that they're getting put in their kennel. So now, Starsky... Is that boot supposed to be some... Oh, oh, really? Now, this is something I haven't seen. Starsky. Honey, you can't eat that boot. If you eat the boot, then you don't have anything to wear on your feet. Drop it. Drop it. Leave it. Nope, that's not yours. Thank you. Good boy. Well, it is yours, but not to eat. Okay. Then fetch... Um, that's the one. They did it so good. I just toss it out and I say, um, you know, oh, you know, get them excited. Make it, make it come to life. Whatever it is, make it come to life. Come here. Come here. Come here. Because then it's fun and they want it. Go get it. Oh, you didn't see where I put it. There it is. Can you bring it back? Can you go get it? He does it better with a ball. Yeah, what a crazy dog. What a And without his mom being in the way. But when you do it, start out, so I'll use this now. Just start out like right there. And then just make it so exciting to come back. Just go, you know, hit the ground. And when they do bring it back, it is a huge party. It's a huge celebration. Just give them all the loves and cuddles and everything they want. And then they know that they just made you really, really happy, which is their only purpose in life. That's all they want to do is make you happy. So the more fun and less scoldy-like you can make things, the better. Um, okay, so tricks. Uh, sit. Okay, so that was sit and the reason why is and the and why you want to get down is because you don't want to be doing that scolding thing again so and you can also use it to get up sit from a from a lay down so you have um so you have sit you have stay you have drop it you have, <laughs> I have a tail in my face. You have leave it. You have um, high five. <laughs> Honey, go play with your mommy for just a second. She's right there. Go get her. Yeah. You have, um, come here, Stel. Sit. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Shake. Starsky's head's in the way. So shake is either this way or this way. So you can do it this or this. And just put it under there. They will know that eventually they figure out that everything you want is them basically to touch your hand. <laughs> so, um, like... I don't know if I showed you this one. She does the, this little, and I don't even speak French, so I have no idea what it means. Come here, Stella. Let me, come here. Stella, come here a second. <sighs> Stelly, can you sit for just one more second? 